Hey, welcome. Chris here from Video Maker, and you're watching our review of the DJI Osmo. So here's how the review is going to go. We're going to watch some footage we shot on the Osmo to music here in a second. And right after that, we're going to talk about what you saw. We're going to break down the tech specs of the Osmo. We're going to talk about its cost. We're going to talk about our experience using it our likes, our dislikes, we're gonna have a low light test, and then we're gonna talk about who it's for, who it's not for, and its value in the marketplace. Without further ado, here's that montage of footage. So what did you think of that? Well, the footage looks really good outside. So before we get any further, we wanted to show you our low light test. And what that's gonna do is really show you inside what really you can set it up as. Now we shot it manually most of the time because, well, that's what we like to do is shoot manually in most any camera. Usually auto just gets, well, it doesn't make it as deliberate of a choice when you're making exposure. So let's take a look at that low light test. When we come back, we'll uh, break it down a little bit. So here you go. All right, so although the gimbal was slipping a little bit during that test, uh, we experienced that 100 ISO was okay. 200, you start noticing uh, the noise, and then really anything above 800 is not something that you can expect to get any kind of professional quality from. It's just too noisy. Uh, and even, you know, um, Around 800, it is somewhat noisy, so you might need some noise reduction software, which is gonna make your shots more soft because it's blending pixels. So um, definitely something to experience um, and, and something to um, really understand before you buy this camera. If you're planning on shooting inside, you must have an abundance of light to be able to do that. So if you're just shooting an event, some kind of situation, some family memories, which we think would be great, great travel camera. It's going to make sure all the shots that you were doing are a lot easier. It's just in one hand, it's really easy to, to operate and use. So it's most definitely great for that space. And you know, 570 bucks, a really great price. Um, let's talk about the camera for a second or the, the whole unit. Um, three axis gimbal. It's got the Zenmuse X3 camera on it, which can be swapped out for the X5 with an adapter plate. Um, it's got a one and two thirds inch uh, image sensor. Um, it's got a 94 degree uh, viewing angle. So that means if you're shooting something very broad, well, you better be close to it because it's gonna be small. I was shooting planes landing and uh, flying and I was on an airfield and uh, well, the planes, even though they're very quite large, they were very small in the sky because of your broad viewing angle. Um, it can shoot in 4K, which is awesome, and it shoots onto micro SD class 10 or UHS-1. So uh, most definitely pay attention to that if you don't have an SD card before you buy it to make sure you have an SD card that'll actually keep up with it. So um, let's go down our likes and dislikes. So likes easy to use. This thing right out of the box, I was using it within minutes, uh, getting the app going and, and connecting it was not a big deal. Um, dislike though was this bracket for your phone. What we noticed is that uh, it, well, we have a iPhone 6 Plus that I was putting it in and it definitely felt like I was crushing my phone a little bit. Now it didn't do any damage, but it was, it definitely was nerve wracking putting it in. Um, now it did have a short battery life, short meaning 60 minutes, but they just did a firmware update and well, now it's 90 minutes. So that's a nice upgrade. We tested it with the other firmware and we've done now some follow-up since the firmware has been released and that was a nice update. Uh, we really think that's from uh, the fan being turned off, which was also another issue we had, which it was noisy. Um, and then the audio gain is improved as well. So if you do have an external audio recording device or whatever, it will sound good and that you're not hearing this fan, which was definitely a big issue. Um, 
it's outdoor uh, picture quality is just fantastic. I mean, if you have beautiful light, no matter where you're at, it should look really good. If you don't, well, we talked about the low light. It's just not fantastic. It's not good. Um, but if you know that, it's not an issue. Or if you don't care, then it's not an issue either, right? Um, it's small and compact. Now, I traveled with this. I flew all the way to Miami. I uh, went around shooting um, all over the place. It was really easy. You know, it comes with this little case and that's really cool. It looks like a little gun case. I'm amazed that I made it through TSA with it. Um, the only issue I had is that it doesn't have any space in here for an extra battery. So it was like, it, it just was kind of a pain. I, I wish that there was a place to put another battery or maybe a little pocket on the outside, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. It, for uh, $570 that you get a case that'll keep it safe when traveling is really nice. Um, now, uh, we actually experienced as well that it crashes when shooting at its higher, highest resolution. Now that's no longer true since the firmware update. So um, that is really nice. It, really a lot of the negative things that we experienced with this camera were uh, s actually fixed through the firmware update, which we must say is very good on uh, DJI. Uh, absolutely, if there's issues, it's great that they're staying after their product and offering that value to you. Um, and, and you know, the, the, the last thing I'd say is just that you can change out the gimbal, you know, for the X5 um, and now maybe the X5 RAW, which would be pretty fun. Um, now we haven't done that, so I can't say how well it works, but uh, there's now an adapter that will allow that to happen. All right, now let's get down to who's it for, who's it not for. This is for anyone that wants a camera on the go that they just want to record and go. So if you had an action camera before, maybe you still do, or maybe you want an action camera, but you want one to be able to hold it well, not have it mounted on something, but rather hold it. Um, this is really nice. It fits well in your hand. And so if you're, um, you know, doing vacation foot, uh, you know, video of your family or whatever vacation you're taking, family memories, all those things would be great. And it's definitely right on the money, 570 bucks. It's going to be um, great for, just about any on the go, I think, uh, you know, shooting skateboarding or uh, any kind of uh, activity where you can go along with it. Um, it's gonna be, you know, smoother than just a camera, even holding a handle. Um, it's gonna give you some really fun angles. It's really easy to operate. It also has selfie mode so you can shoot yourself, which I, I, I started learning how to use a camera so I didn't have to be in front of it, although now I'm in front of it. That's weird. So anyhow, um, it's it's definitely for that. Now, if you're a, a professional and you're not just looking for a fun toy, um, this might not be the picture quality that you want, although it looks really nice. So, um, you know, if you have an abundance light, it, it should do a good job. You know, it, it is a Sony sensor inside, so the image does get uh, pretty nice in there, but like we said, low light is an issue. So. It really, if you are an independent filmmaker or uh, an event videographer or what have you, these, this is going to be a good tool for you. And, you know, it's cheaper than a gimbal and a camera. It's cheaper than just a camera. So, you know, it's, it's a nice, uh, nice value all along. I mean, you can get this or a GoPro. I mean, I'd have to actually assume I'd want to get this because it's more than just a camera. So that's really quite cool. Who it's not for, if you um, want a detachable lens, you need to, you can't be any, you, know, you want to get a long reach or anything like that. This version's not for you, maybe the X5 is, but it's quite a bit more expensive. Now value in the marketplace is an interesting thing because really what are you looking at as comparison? Now we talked about this a little bit as a GoPro uh, that you know you can get a three axis gimbal for a GoPro, but a GoPro is 500 bucks, 400 bucks, depending on which one you get. Maybe you get the, the session that's 200 bucks now, um, but you gotta get a gimbal. Now with the session um, along with a, a gimbal, you'd be good, but you wouldn't have 4K. So this can shoot up to 120 frames in 1080. So that's a nice uh, option as well. So really it's very Value, it's a great value. Uh, absolutely, DJI is offering this at just a price that kind of is a, I'm looking for a fun little toy and it actually can get really nice video. So it absolutely, I think, you know, I, I've reviewed cameras that cost a lot more than this that don't do as good of a job and they don't have a uh, gimbal connected to them as well. So it's absolutely a fun product. It's not for everybody, but it, it's fun to use. I don't know, it just, I use it a lot just taking it out and having no real purpose other than, hey, I'm shooting some video and it's now smooth. I can do kind of a jib type shot and it looks really nice and smooth. I can do somewhat of a dolly type of shot and they all look really nice because, you know, gimbals are nice to shoot with. 
So there you have it. That's our review of the DJI Osmo. If you'd like to buy this product and help support us make videos like these, well, there's a link for it in our description. Go ahead and click on that and you can buy it. As well, we'll have a link for the uh, X5 camera and, well, a GoPro. So uh, a GoPro Hero 4 Black. If you're interested in that instead, you can also buy that as well. If you like this shirt, hey, there's a link and you can go ahead and you know buy all the Darth Vader's you'd like. I've been Chris from Video Maker. As always, like, share, and comment. We want to know what you think. Until next time, keep doing the hard work that you do. Bye-bye.